Hello everyone. Today I would like to discuss about adulteration of food which we consume in our day to day life. Adulteration of food and foodstuffs is done by black marketers, hoarders and other profiters. And it is a common act which is done for the intention to accept their products to make it attractive and also to make it saleable to make easy money. And adulteration of food is actually uh, lead to uh, the loss of lives of many innocent citizens. The act of adulteration of food is offensive under Food Adulteration Act and Indian Penal Code under Section 272. Most of the foods are sold by the certification of ISI and Eggmark. And, but many other food products are also sold without this mark by adding similar products or other substances. But these products are harmful for human consumption. And here in this video, I would like to show many adulteration which is done in the common products which we use in our daily life. Here in this video, adulteration of pepper, detection of detergent in milk, adulteration in honey and detection of iodized salt is shown. To detect adulteration in pepper, first we have to take a transparent glass with transparent water and the peppers are put inside. Within seconds, we could see that some peppers are floating on the surface of water and some are deposited down. And this gives us the result that the peppers that are floating are adulterated and the peppers which are deposited down are unadulterated. Next is the detection of detergent in milk. That is, we have to detect whether the milk is adulterated with detergent. For that, we have to take a transparent bottle and add some water into it and mix the water with the milk. And then shake the bottle really well that after shaking, when the lather is formed, then it is found that the milk is adulterated with detergent. If the lather is not formed, it is not adulterated with detergent. Next, we have to find out whether the honey is adulterated or not. For that, we have to take a transparent glass with transparent water and add some honey into it. Stir it very well to find out whether the honey is getting mixed with water. If it is getting mixed very well means it is an adulterated honey. If it is not, it is not adulterated and it is pure honey. Next, we have to find out whether the salt is iodized salt. For that, we will take a slice of potato and add some salt into it and spread the salt throughout the potato. After one minute, add two drops of lemon juice into it and spread the lemon juice throughout the potato. And after some time, if blue color appears, then the salt is iodized salt. And if the blue color do not appear, then the salt is not iodized salt. Like this, adulteration of many products could be done in our homes itself. Hope you understood. Thank you.